a little bit of a brisk chill in the air here past the midway point of October here in Bethlehem. <coughs> and we're in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. A few minutes ago, I just left the, one of my favorite galleries in the Lehigh Valley, the Bethlehem House Gallery. Great people, always make you feel welcome. And they had the opening of their holiday exhibit. And normally, I covered their grand opening, I covered a few of their exhibits uh, over the past few years. So normally when they have an exhibit opening, it's like, you know what? This is my, this is a night off. I go in there, like everyone else, you know, have, have some wine or other people, you know, beer, whatever. A little bit of snacks and actually just enjoy the art. And at every art exhibit, almost every art exhibit, I find at least one or two pieces that I find to be my favorites. Now, this, with this one, I was going in, you know, doing my usual, taking the night off, etc. But Kate Hughes and her and what she does with photography, I really have to do an article on. Honestly, I hate to be some cold, callous, and etc., etc., etc. But we're in 2017. Everybody's a photographer. Honestly, I mean, yeah, there's a difference in the equipment, etc. But unless it's a real crappy, blurry photograph, which that could even be considered art in today's world, <laughs> uh, you know, pretty much everyone does photography now. There's various levels, everything from the phone like I use for the magazine, all the way up to your high-end SLRs. Well, Kate doesn't just say, all right, well, here's the photos. She takes it and adds a completely different element to it. And I think, as usual, if you go to one of their exhibit openings, unless there's about 12 inches of snow on the ground in the middle of winter, um, it's going to be packed, I can guarantee you, throughout the evening. So I didn't really have a chance to uh, speak with her this evening, but she takes different things and it looked like yarn uh, or thread, etc., and adds it into the photograph to give it a three dimensional aspect and also to give it a completely different meaning. And when you look at it, you look at it almost completely different from, and also to be honestly, a more realistic aspect to the, to the actual two dimensional photographs. Now, the one that you'll see, I took a bad photo of. I apologize. It's called Time is Frozen in Dreams. Yeah, I got that right. <laughs> and I just love it because I, you know, I spoke with Kate about this and told her where I didn't see that in it. What I saw was a moment in a woman's private life where she was enjoying the moment with her two best friends, which happened to be a cat and a dog. And the more I looked at it, the more it's, it was like that woman is going to remember that moment for the rest of time. She will never forget that one simple moment of peace and being with her two best friends. So, and here's another thing I'll, that I love, that I really loved about Kate's work is it seemed like she really took time to think of the titles. It wasn't just something like, okay, well, whatever the first thing comes to my mind, or, you know, this looks like this. The titles, now, it's, personally, I really, I really don't look at the titles too much, because I, when I look at art, I want to take what I did do out of it. If you, um, to further explain this, when I look at a piece of art, no matter what it's titled, I may see something totally different. Um, I actually did in one of the pieces, other pieces and explained it to the artist. Uh, so, but it seemed like Kate actually takes a lot of time in looking at the piece from different angles to come up with the title. So that's another thing I actually loved about her work this evening is that it was multi, multi-level, multi-dimensional and had many aspects that just went above the visual piece, above and beyond the visual piece that you, that you see. This exhibit, it's called the holiday exhibit. Check, 
check the Facebook page and or website. I'm not exactly sure how long this is going to be up. I never look at the end dates. I know, I'm bad. I'm bad like that. But if you're in Bethlehem, <coughs> mainstream Bethlehem, if you're in Leah Valley, mainstream Bethlehem, stop, definitely stop by the Bethlehem House Gallery. This is a place where the people that are there are very welcoming. They make you feel like you like you actually belong there, not just like you're a customer. Excellent gallery. And one thing I always loved about this place is when you walk in, you don't have to try to visualize what the art's going to look like on your wall because basically you converted the first floor of a house into an art into an art gallery. And even the furniture that you see and everything is for sale, but they take a lot of time and, and energy to make it look like home. So, in Leah Valley, Bethlehem House Gallery, Main Street in Bethlehem, and stop by and check out this exhibit. There's some excellent, uh, there's an excellent variety, there's an excellent contrast with different artists that are there, but Kate Hughes is one of the artists. I don't know what your personal preference is in art, or even if you like art at all, in any form, but if you like photography, definitely stop by, check out her work, and see how, to a point, she almost redefines it combine not taking it to the true artistic form not burning it through photo editing not by filtering the hell out of it but by adding physical aspects to it to the, to the sponsors out there finance as always financial and otherwise please especially financial ones please check out and support the people and businesses that uh pay the bills for the magazine help keep things going uh this whole thing, with even in its predecessor, Valley and Beyond, never would have come, come this far. To all of you out there who support the magazine in other ways, think page views, feedback, etc., listening to me drone on and on and on in these articles, thank you. The reason I do it. Past the halfway point in October, days are, in, are think, mercifully warm on a hot weather person. Always remember in your family, friends, and people, the people that mean everything to you. You get one shot every night in life. You gotta take it, because you never know where it will lead.